Waiting for bitter gourd seeds to germinate feels like it takes forever. In this video, I'll show the quickest method to germinate bitter gourd seeds and get seedlings ready for planting. The first step is to start with fresh seeds. Seeds from the previous growing season are nearly 100% viable and are the best seeds to start. Bitter gourd has thick skin seeds which make it difficult to germinate until the correct natural growing conditions are available. One easy way to make seeds germinate faster is to pre-soak them for 24 hours in a shallow container filled with tap water. Water both softens the seed shell and supplies water to the seed interior. Don't soak them for longer than 24 hours because that could rot the seed. After soaking for 24 hours, you might find some seeds float and some sink. Contrary to popular belief, these floating seeds are not bad. They are floating because of their thick and light outer shell. Next, get some paper towel or clean cloth and wet it with warm water. You want to have just enough moisture so you don't drown your seeds. Lightly squeeze out the excess water until the cloth isn't dripping anymore. Lay the layered cloth flat in a large container, then place the seeds on one half of the cloth with even spacing. Provide enough space between the seeds and avoid overcrowding. Once sprouted, we do not want the roots to get tangled up. Fold the other half over the seeds and close the container. This closed container will maintain the moisture level during the germination period. Next, keep the container in a location with temperature between 70 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. This is where a seedling heat mat can come also handy. In order to maintain a warmer temperature than you might typically have in your home. After 3 to 4 days, you should see some roots coming out of the seeds. We have a good outcome with most of our seeds successfully germinating after just 4 days. For the seeds that haven't popped yet, you can leave them in there a little longer and keep checking each day. These seeds have germinated beautifully. Without the moist cloth and the humidity of the closed container, the germination would have taken much, much longer. Once the seeds have popped, we'll need to put them into starter cell trays where they will be able to develop into seedlings. Use a good quality potting mix and water the seedlings as they grow. At this point in the plant's life, all the energy it needs to develop from the seed to seedling is stored within the seed itself. Using the pre-sprouted method, we can plant only the viable seeds and have all seedlings grow uniformly. Next, it's time to expose the tray to direct sunlight. You can place the tray next to a windowsill or use artificial light. In absence of good light source, the stems can become leggy. Within two weeks, the plants have built a good root structure and have developed a few true leaves and small branches. Once the seedlings are ready, plant them into the garden. Build a small trellis and get ready to harvest beautiful bitter golds. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.